Today I'm going to share a what I eat in a day video with you with easy cauliflower recipes that are all low carb, keto friendly, gluten free too. And I found this massive head of cauliflower at the supermarket and I thought I'd just come up with all different recipes to enjoy the cauliflower in and I thought why not make it a what I eat in a day. So I'm going to have cauliflower for breakfast, lunch and dinner. I wouldn't normally recommend doing that but I thought it would be a bit of a fun challenge video to share with you. So I'm going to get on and make breakfast shortly and what I'll also do is write a blog post which I'll leave down below which will have all of these recipes and more over the years. I've shared loads of cauliflower inspiration on my YouTube channel and my blog so I'll write that all down in the blog post down below for you. So when you've got a cauliflower you've got lots of ideas of lovely, in lovely ways to enjoy it so click through for that. And be sure to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, comment to let me know your favorite way to enjoy cauliflower. So I'm going to get in and remove all of these outside leaves and layers and chop a bit of the cauliflower up for breakfast. So I've chopped a whole lot of cauliflower into little bite sized pieces. I've also chopped up a whole lot of red onion and garlic there for flavor. When you cook the cauliflower you can also add on oregano, paprika, turmeric, salt, pepper, any seasoning, any herbs you like to taste. So I'm going to get on and heat up some coconut oil in the frying pan when it's nice and hot. Get this all cooking. You can use butter instead if you want to heat or olive oil. Really whatever cooking oil you want. We're just going to get on and saute all this lovely cauliflower just cook as much as you'd like really I'm making this for myself and my husband so I kind of did enough for two portions here and it's just great being able to start the day with a nice portion of veggies even though I'm going to make cauliflower through the rest of the day starting your day with a breakfast like this means you're already ahead of the game with your veggie intake for the day so I'm going to get on and cook my cauliflower the cauliflower onion and garlic are in the frying pan now just add on your seasoning, herbs to taste, add more coconut oil, butter along the way too as it's needed and just cook until it's browned to your liking. With breakfast I like to have a hot chocolate. You might want to have tea, coffee or your breakfast drink of choice. I tend to make turmeric hot chocolate lately with turmeric and cocoa powder and a bit of black pepper too which enhances the goodness of turmeric. If you want I'll share another video with this full recipe but I'm getting that heated while I see to all my veggies. And the cauliflower is nice and brown, almost there. I'll just give it another minute or two to cook and then move it off to a plate. And I've popped the cauliflower onto our plate. That's my portion and my husband's portion. So I'm quite happy with the amount I fried up. And now I'm just going to fry some eggs to go with it. So I've just got all the eggs frying up and then we'll pop them onto plates once they're done. And there you go, that's my breakfast plate with lovely fried eggs and all that lovely golden cauliflower that's full of flavor and just makes an incredible meal. That breakfast was super yum. I just love lots of cauliflower and eggs. And now to finish off my meal, I've got my hot chocolate I always make for myself, my husband and our two kids. And that is my full breakfast meal with cauliflower. And next I will show you what I'm gonna have for lunch. And for lunch, I'm making a mushroom risotto. I've chopped up a whole lot of mushrooms. I've got cauliflower at the back over here that I'm going to grate to make rice. You can just buy rice cauliflower. When I started keto almost seven years ago, I had to always do my own, but nowadays you can get all kinds of different cauliflower rice, broccoli rice, all kinds of different options in supermarkets. But I'm just gonna grate my own with the cauliflower there. So I'm gonna get some coconut oil heated in the frying pan and start cooking these mushrooms and I'm going to add some onion and garlic too. So I've got my mushrooms, onion, garlic in the frying pan with plenty of coconut oil. You can add in butter, anything else you like to taste, salt, pepper, we'll just toss it all through and we'll get that all nice and browned. Meanwhile, we're going to make the cauliflower rice. So grab out a box grater, as much cauliflower as you want to grate and grate it until you've got lots of cauliflower rice just like that. I'm happy with the amount of cauliflower rice I've got there for this dish and now we're going to check on the mushrooms. It's really taken only a few minutes and all those mushrooms are reduced down so we'll add in the cauliflower rice. Cauliflower rice is on and we'll just give it all a good toss through. Start getting it cooked and then for flavor I've actually already just drizzled over a tablespoon of tamari soy sauce. You can add now milk stock, water, anything you like, just to kind of 
that absorb all those lovely flavors so I'm just adding a bit of water to it and now it's just a matter of bubbling it until all that liquid has been absorbed and evaporated and you've got a lovely risotto oh, it smells pretty incredible while cooking it's almost done all that liquids almost absorbed in and all those flavors developed so just give it another minute or two to cook and then we'll take it off the heat and I've taken my cauliflower and mushroom risotto off of the heat. It really looks like a risotto, doesn't it? Those lovely grains of cauliflower just go together so well with the mushrooms and absorb all the flavor. You could make this ahead of time, pop it into a meal prep container to enjoy as a brilliant make-ahead lunch that's full of cauliflower and nutrition, or you could just pop it straight into a bowl and you can top it with some parmesan if you want to, too, for some extra flavor. And if you stick a fork into it, you see it really does look like a risotto with all the flavors, all the mushroom and the onion and garlic and the lovely cauliflower. It's such a lovely meal. But yeah, that's my lunch today in my full day of eating with all kinds of cauliflower recipes. I hope you've got some inspiration so far. So keep watching for what I have for dinner. And for dinner, I'm making a low carb keto friendly version of leek and potato soup. I've chopped all the rest of the cauliflower from that cauliflower head. I've chopped a whole lot of leek and I've got quite a few <laughs> cloves of garlic chopped over there. My knife skills are not the greatest, but it's all gonna turn into soup, so it doesn't really matter. So I've got all these lovely veggies chopped up and now in a pot get some coconut oil or butter or both if you want heat it up and then we'll get all these veggies cooking so once the butter coconut oil is heated up add in all the vegetables and give them a good toss through adding salt pepper any other seasoning you like to taste you can add a bit more coconut oil or butter when needed and just cook until it starts to brown a little bit then pour over your liquid of choice from water stock cream milk it is totally up to you pour over to just cover and a little bit more really just depends how creamy or how liquidy you want your soup to be then bring it up to a boil and down to a simmer so let it simmer away now for 20 to 25 minutes or until all those veggies are cooked through and easily mashable the soup's been gently simmering away for 20-25 minutes. Everything is nice and soft and mashable, so we'll take it off the heat now. So now it's up to you. I've got lovely chunky bits of cauliflower and leek in there. You can blend it using a stick blender, or my choice is ready to use a potato masher. So I'll just grab my potato masher and mash all the cauliflower and leek together until it is done to my liking. Okay, I'm quite happy with how creamy and chunky that soup is. It's so now serve it out into bowls. There you go, my lovely bowl of creamy cauliflower and leek soup. It's just how I like it. You can definitely blend it, but I do like the texture like that. I used to always blend my soups, but lately I've been using a potato masher and just prefer this texture. So, you know, we change through time, but it is totally up to you. You could also blend through some butter, cream, some cheese, cream cheese, a little bit of feta or parmesan lots of ideas which will all be in the blog post down below with i've actually got 17 keto cauliflower recipes a whole blog post full so click through for that down below for lots of cauliflower inspiration the ones that i've shared in this video and more so click through for that and be sure to leave a like subscribe for more videos comment too let me know your favorite way to enjoy cauliflower and if you'd like more videos like this of what I eat in a day and what foods you'd like me to challenge myself to eat in a day. This isn't a normal day of eating. I wouldn't eat cauliflower or recommend it for breakfast, lunch and dinner, but it was just a bit of fun and to share the video with you. So I hope you've enjoyed it. So thank you so much for watching and we'll see you again soon. Bye.